Kuran lowers himself from a grappling hook and then brings it down with him. Rit, you're not gonna give me that? Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> I did say he noted it silently. She would, she would slide, she would slide herself into the sewers and allow herself to drop once again. Oh shit! That was once a day power. Oh, oh shit! Uh, well, fuck. Get it, well, get I it, just get it, get okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say she straight up just breaks her legs. Game over, man. I'm gone. And with a quick grapple down, Kiran joins her in the sewers. I thought you were down. <laughs> no, that was him getting off the building. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Damn oh, it. Boy. I misread it. Misread it, yes. I'll miss listen to it. <laughs> Going to assume that they were given information on the compound. Uh yes. Whatever you whatever you want. The, G the, the GM put a little note inside the dossier that states, that states, whatever the fuck you want, you decide. <laughs> you want a pink sparkly unicorn? Put it in there. <laughs> no, just floor <gasps> plans. And I am a thousand degrees surprised that Douglas didn't say anything to that. I know, but, um... He's being polite. I'm being polite. Also, I got a bear. Do I really want a sparkly unicorn? By the time I painted uh, it. A pink sparkly unicorn. Oh. Wait! <laughs> this changes uh, things. <laughs> <laughs> and here's oh, the storm. I'm, I'm presently playing a glam rock minotaur that rides a unicorn that shits rainbows. <laughs> Bring it Barf on! Barfs out jelly beans. <laughs> yeah. So uh, okay. Well, I, I tell you what. If you let me put a horn on my bear and paint it, do you think the bear will mind being painted? <laughs> it depends on what you're painting with. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure I can find something. Okay, anyway, I'll let them carry I on. Can, Sorry. I desummon Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bye. All right, using okay. using the floor plans they were provided, Kiran guides them inside. This will do nicely. She she turns the gaze back up towards the ceiling to see if there is any openings to the inside, if they needed to. Uh, at this juncture, there's one. Maybe there's stairs. Oh. There's one. You point, you look up, and there's a pipe. <laughs> oh. It looks to be roughly the size of uh, normal people with normal body sizes. <laughs> oh, wow. Was I just uh, saying something bad about, about, about small size and large size creatures? I am sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Medi it's uh, it's enough to accommodate a medium-sized, full-grown humanoid. Hmm. What's that so, further do? She actually... Uh, Wait, hmm. do, can she jump high? Uh, yes. Well, she uses this to her advantage, and she just uses her hands and feet to keep herself up on the pipe. Like, you know how you would, like, you're a little kid, and you try to... Sorry, you tried to. Yes, you, you tried jump, to. You jump up. You jump up and. Uh, you try to yeah. climb up the doorway, just sliding up. You do the ninja warrior spider climb. Yep. Basically. Yep. And Thank you. You give, you give Kieran a nice upskirt. Oh shit. <clears throat> ah, fuck it. We're on a job. Yeah, it's not. It's like not a single fuck was given. <laughs> Did you remember to wear underwear today? That is an important question. <laughs> so, no. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh, I didn't pay attention. 
<laughs> we, we do this just for shits and giggles. Garon mutters something about tactically unsound amateurs. <laughs> I'm flexible and you're not. <laughs> You'd be extremely surprised. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't do this. Can we, this not get, can, we not, can we not get into a flexibility contest right now? <laughs> well, trying to break into this place to steal stuff. Oh, Fred, Fred I know. is very heteroflexible. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. Business. You guys, we're gonna do business. Back on topic, sorry. So, she climbs up, up this pipe, and she gets to the other side. Here. I should be. And, oh, Tron uses the hook again to climb his way up. And but before, look before exiting the pipe. Well, I was gonna say, look at that—a grate. A grate. A grate. Isn't that great? Uh -huh. Oh, it's covering uh -huh. the sewer pipe, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> Major. Let's see. No, well, don't want to do that. Uh, okay, it is level zero. Would, can I use Mage Hand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Simple. Heck, if you're a, if actually you're a general, a universalist wizard, you could do, use that for free without preparing it. Um, until three plus intelligence times per day. Mm. Including to throw a weapon or to cause damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a one time thing. No. Uh oh. Three times plus intelligence mod. Mm -hmm. So it's like a ten time thing a day. Hey. It's a He's... seven time thing a day. Don't listen to Douglas. <laughs> Unless it's twenty K. Using using a simple gesture je blah, 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 gesture of a mage hand, she lifts this great up or attempts to lift it. As she goes to cast Mage Hand, Karan quickly throws a hand out and uses Acid Orb to unseat the anchors for the grate. Oh, you had, you had Acid Orb? It's a zero level mega spell. Oh, cool. She probably had to slide back down because that Acid probably would have done more harm than good to her. No, no, you're fine. And, no. uh. Not with the way he was using it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that causes the Great Nord to loosen up enough and uh, corrode enough to where the Mage Hand's force busts right through it. Well, not busts through it, but it forces it up and... Kang! Zing, 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 mm -hmm. zing, 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 zing. She, probably, she did probably jump down just in case somebody might have quickly looked back over. You hear nothing. Tehran, while hanging from his rope, uses a mirror, holds it up out of the grate to look around the room. Uh, your, it currently looks as if you are in sub-basement level one, or level only, and no one around. Sorry. She didn't probably climb back up the way she did before. Of course, having to probably sidle past her partner in crime for the time being. Well, and he's, he's already climbed the rest of the oh, way out and gathered up his hook. Well, she promptly climbed back up the pipe and got on this floor, which floor is stony. Hmm? It's uh, more stone than Kieran is at the moment. Kieran takes a look at the floor plans to see where exactly 
their target is supposed to be located. Uh, second floor on the huh, left side. Front left. Front left. All right. Here's where story drama comes in. Oh dear. Karan says, "Okay." Target, first floor on the left. I'll keep overwatch from the second. Very well. She did turn to take these, take this advice. It would probably cover more ground they would if they went, if, it would probably cover more ground if they went separate and together. Attempting to follow these coordinates, of course, keeping an eye on seeing if any passing by any strangers passing by would happen to come around the corner and if they had she did cast the well shit. she cast invisibility mm -hmm. oh I didn't know I could do that I was gonna say something else but yeah, All right. invisibility. Bam. oh yeah I do invisibility alarm wait Oh, never mind. I misread that. Is this just basic invisibility? Uh, vanish. Yeah. Okay, thank you. As long as you don't attack and it lasts... One round. Per level. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Kiran is using his stealth to make his way to the second floor. thinking to himself how easy it is to mislead people who are unprepared for the job at hand. Ah. Uh, should go by these coordinates, unfortunately. And these coordinates, as she's still, as she's still hopefully invisible, did she, did she reach is she on the second? You guys don't run into anyone in the basement, which is odd. You would think that they would guard this, guard the basement, but you know, some people are stupid. Yeah, they are. She did go by these coordinates, and thanks to invisibility, perhaps somebody might have heard her, heard something, felt something. Nope. You guys run into no one. Hmm. Are there crystals there? Uh, use it must it must be the night shift coming in. But there are crystal what looks to be white powder being pressed together rather tightly to create the crystals. She thinks to herself, bingo. That's where it was. The processing plant. Kiran notes to himself that it's too quiet. And makes his way to the marked room on the second floor. Alright. Okay, uh, Oblivion, where did you tell her to go? Pretty much the same room, first floor. Don't go to your sleep. I'm here. Okay. Uh, you said first floor? Uh, that's where you told her to go. Okay. Anyway, so, Mackenzie, you get to the first floor area. Wait, are we going by British first floor or American first floor? Br uh... Um, it doesn't fucking matter, whichever one's which. Uh, <laughs> Savage is a floor higher than her. Okay. So, yeah, Mackenzie, you open up that door that he told you to open up, and... Well, that's not good. You just opened up the bar mitzvah door, as as there's currently a celebration going on in there. Am I still invisible? Nope. You open the door. Oh fuck! They all look oh. at you, and they're like, 
Oh, you got me a stripper! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and Kira does hear this. Karan smirks to himself and thinks distraction complete. <laughs> oh, she did take a breath and she did not react to the situation. She did not run. Oh, this was going to be a long night. Uh, don't worry. There's uh, one rule in this town. Strippers don't get touched. Strippers just get watched. Great. Now shake those demonic caps, baby, as Kieran opens his door. Two, four heavy crossbows pointed right at his face. Flare. <laughs> Nothing catches on fire in this room. That wasn't spark, that was flare. Ah, flare. Right. Okay, you flare you flare the four people with the crossbows, and well, do you make a do you, do you pass your reflex save? Well, let's find out. Oh, I that thing. I'd say so. Huh. So you only take half damage from the fireball that hits your chest. And, All you, right. and you go to the first floor. Express All style. Right. Sweet. Right behind the half-naked demon girl. <laughs> <laughs> she huh. kept doing her thing, and she did look up, seeing who just fell. Oh, it was, she... was your partner, a little bit blacker than he was before. <laughs> she, she did. She had to play it. She had to play along, and she was honest. She had to act really surprised. She screamed. Yes. And I think she might have almost tripped over the table. In the process. Well, there's something about subpar information. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't tell you that the guy was a wizard. I don't know, I kind of assumed he was. I just didn't think he'd be in the room I was looking for. Yeah. As a uh, old dwarf with a long gray beard steps onto the balcony, Oi, what the fuck do you expect to do in my home? Well... Well... well. While everyone's promptly distracted, she yep. did try to step away from the scene. Oh, no, it, it, you. <laughs> Do you pass, like, I'm pretty sure you'll pass your stealth check. Oh, fuck. I, don't, I have no idea. And, yeah, we're just going to say you pass it. Did and any of us... Just the pe realized. The people, like, yeah. And uh, a little sign above Kieran's head states, Distraction complete. <laughs> oh, damn it. Did any of his did any of the dwarves crossbowmen step to the uh the balcony with him? Nope. Well, two of them either side of him pointing groth crossbows at you. Karan kinda of smirks to himself and says, Well, I was here to rob you. But, now it looks like plans have changed. And twin shock rooms fly at the crossbowman. Hmm. Ah. Go. Go. Ching, ching. Shield. Damn it. <laughs> All right. And Nyx is actually in the room now. Which room? Oh, the room the dwarf was in. But you're still half naked. Ah. Mm -hmm. Boobs McGee. <laughs> Wait, how did she go from the first floor to the second floor? Because she's a demon. No, because I used directions. Able, she's able to jump that, that high. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. 
Wait, how did I jump? I thought I was on a different floor. You were on the first floor. You turned invisible, snuck out, jumped up to the first floor, and snuck in. Second. Uh, oh. Jab, jump. Great, now I have American and British in my head. <laughs> yeah, you jumped to the second floor, and now you're in the room. Okay. The wizard looks down mm -hmm. to Kieran as uh, Nyx currently and deftly sneaks into the room behind him. What do you have to say for yourself, Lord? <laughs> you foolish bastard. And Karan legs it into shadow. Legs it into shadow? Yep. Okay. What's that mean? He just up and... It means a second distraction complete sign just popped up above Karan's head. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Shit. Now... What was Did the she get... What was the second distraction? Karan. Ah. And yeah, the girl is able to steal the papers from behind the dwarf's back. Yoink! And she probably folded up and... S no, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you currently don't have a shirt, but you still have a skirt. And she probably stuffed these in her skirt. You also have pouches and a purse. Or pouch and cleavage. <laughs> yeah, you actually have cleavage with this character. I should totally make her do that, yes. I'm gonna make it stuff it in her cleavage. <laughs> and yes, you promptly sneak out of the building with the paperwork. And the now, last the last thing Kiran does is he legs it in the shadow is uses ghost sound in one of the other rooms upstairs. Oh. <laughs> one oh, of the shit. other rooms. Oh. Don't say fuck. The dwarf snaps and two crosswomen go to the other room. Hi. Using how tall is how tall is this building? Uh You're you, only on the second floor. Yeah. yeah, you went from the roof to the ground without taking damage. What do you think? I was going I was gonna, well I did I was going to say probably just scaled the wall trying to get down. Or jump out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Karan just says the hell with it and dives out a window. Later, bitches! Woo! Basically. I think that was basically the both of them. So, she played it cool, now, and unfortunately, she's probably an exhibitionist for this. But she had to straighten up her clothing as she walked out. Uh, what clothing? Oh, she lost it, didn't she? You left it in the, you left it in the uh, bar mitzvah room. Well, fuck it. I could always buy a new one. Just boobs. But let's just say idea. that it. Let's just say that it's very cold out. Uh. Oh shit. Now here's Do the I, thing. How long's my hair? <laughs> <laughs> how long's my hair? Hold on. Where's the reference now, image? It's not now, long. Enough. Here's here's the thing. You currently have the paperwork, and Kieran does not. You're from rival gangs, but you have the same job. What do you do? Well, I have no idea where the fuck he went. So I'm going to assume he is either... He... Probably, I was going to assume he probably just bailed out. Well. Yeah. I think I'm going to head back. Alright. Head back, please. Ron would have been making it, making his way back to the higher as well. Okay. So, you both will meet up at the place of business, and I'm sure you would have stolen a shirt off of someone's back by that time. I did. <laughs> Yoink. But, yeah, they're still displaying proudly. Yeah, well. As you did not steal a bra. 
Uh. But yeah, so you have the paperwork, you guys get the job complete. And you part ways, never to see each other again until you both have quit your respective gangs and are now meeting at Oleg's Trading Post. What the hell? I can't believe you. Believe me. If it wasn't for you... me, they would have found you. Hmm. I suppose it's true. It did come out both ways better, didn't it? It's called, think it's called thinking on your feet. I would have thought you would have learned something about it by now. Sugar breath, let your nails tap against the tabletop. Huron mm -mm -mm. continues Which? smoking calmly. Tell me, what directions did you give me? First floor on the left. And I followed through with these directions. And. Admirably. <laughs> yeah. I had a job. Their turn. Oh, I'm tr I'm still trying to think. I can't say. <laughs> ah. A, hunt a hunter, hunter looks at the bounty board, and then looks over at uh, the two of you sitting there, and he's like, "Oh, hey, I remember you." She, she slowly turns to look. She raised up her head as well to see what was going on. Aye, lass, you were the best thing at my bar mitzvah. Thank you! As he tosses a pack, a pouch of coins <laughs> onto the table. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we forgot. You disappeared before we could pay you that night, mess. But here you are. Your payment for the evening. Kiran extinguishes his cigarette and continues <laughs> laughing. She blinked at the coin purse, and I, well, I guess she's gonna have to accept that. She's there's just a, there's another ten silvers in it for you if you give us a little flash. <sighs> Not here. <laughs> Not here. All right, lass. Anyway, you all have a good day. Oleg. I'll go ahead and bring a few few more pelts in next time I'm here. As Kiran, he Kiran raises a glass to him and says, Good luck on your hunt. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You find uh, four you find Well, let's see here. How well did you do? Pretty goddamn good. <laughs> Amazing. Boom Smiggy probably has a bombshell body. Yeah. You're fine. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, you find 12 platinum in there. God oh, damn. <laughs> well, she did look over this and she's like, hmm. And she just probably stored it back. So. Why are, why are you angry at me for it? You have, if you're gonna say it was just a good job, I never we barely said made it by an inch of our hair. I have to ask why. Karan lights another home rolled quote unquote cigarette and says, Who said I was angry? Inexperience does not breed anger. Inexperience and amateur status brings distrust. Just because I don't trust you doesn't mean I'm angry at you. Sorry about that. She raised her brows up. And she probably... Yeah, my English. 
Yep. English would help. Mm. English would definitely help. Huron mutters something to himself in Infernal. Now, she has a 50-50 chance of understanding that. I know. But, but does she? I don't know. Huh? Roll you, have, you have a choice of speaking Infernal or Abyssal. Well, so, high or low? Uh, Mackenzie's first, I... high or low? Uh, Mackenzie's first, high or low? You'll probably have more luck than, than I will, because I never have luck. Anyway. Uh, hi. Mm. Nope, you choose abyssal. Damn it. So you know, you know what fucking uh, Tony's saying to Necker and I when he talks to them. But... I have no <laughs> idea what Oblivion says at this point. Yeah, no, that's irrelevant. I don't know what the fuck he's saying half the time. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for the fact of our history, I think he's plotting to kill me. <laughs> she corked about the Who statement. says history Sorry, prevents that? She <laughs> <laughs> corked about the statement uh, and promptly took a sheet. I have help from running low on ideas. Well, mm. uh, since we're since we kind of have to make a character at the moment and there's really not much else to do and I would rather have Mackenzie join in on us on this, I was thinking about cutting the session short and just leaving it there. I mean, what more can you add? I really enjoyed this character, so I'd uh, really hate to toss her out. Oh her. yeah, I'd say the interplay is going to be interesting. Yeah. Douglas. Yes. You okay with you, um, you okay with that? I don't, I don't, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with whatever you want to do as always. Walter on a pike. That would that would make this session. Uh, that would end it perfectly. Okay, I beat everyone up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, folks, it might have been a short session, but remember, last week's session ran a little bit long, so you know, it evens out. Equals, yeah. Well, not really. We usually do seven. We did eight last week. We've only done five this week, so... Ah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, you all have a wonderful evening, and as always, I have been your illustrious host, Lord Zedek T. Grelius Haruk. And remember, I love you all. No, he doesn't. Yeah. As much as I do. Indeed. Say goodnight, Douglas. Not as filthily as Douglas does, either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not for the pay either. Right, um, say good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, night. Sleep well.